the first thing that came to my mind was like, damn, who stole my car? What's up you guys welcome back or welcome if you're new here today is december 2nd i'm actually on my way to do a little bit of christmas shopping and i actually need to go to the beauty supply store so i can go get these slouch socks that i've been trying to get forever but every time i go to the beauty supply store they never have um the socks in white so i'm going to show you guys what i have on today really chill basic um yeah i think i was telling you guys in the last vlog that i needed to get those slouch socks and i still can't I couldn't find them let me turn this TV off. I really need to be hurrying up so I can get out of here. Um, it's 11.32 right now. And so check out it's at 12. So I got a little bit of time. Let me see if that light. So this is what I'm wearing today, you guys. I have on this um, gray Reebok hoodie from Walmart. And as you guys saw, I just popped the tag. This was only $15. It was on sale. They're originally $28, $25 or $28. Um, but it is super cozy. I got it in a men's medium, so it can be a little bit oversized and I love that it kind of like covers my hand, but um, these are just some black leggings that I also picked up from Walmart. I think they were under $8 as well. And then these are those AVA, AVIA 5000 sneakers from Walmart. And so I wanna go and get either some gray slouch socks. I think gray would be better. Some gray slouch socks or white. Um, so I can kind of throw those on with this outfit. Then I have my black crossbody, and then we're gonna go run some errands. I'm just basically gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna leave here, go run to the beauty supply store, see if I can find some gray slouch socks. And then after that, we're gonna do a little bit of Christmas shopping. And then I'm gonna go home and set up the Christmas tree and all of that stuff. So Friday, so on Friday, I like deep clean the house so that I can prepare and set up the Christmas tree. You, you guys, I, that was not the plan. On Friday, I woke up to my car being gone. <laughs> Child, at this point, I was so livid. My mom had to come and get me to go pick. Do y'all see my baby right there? <laughs> she had to come get me to get my baby. Like, oh my goodness, y'all. This car is brand new. She's not even a full year old yet. And they traveled 21 miles with my baby on a whole tow truck and then they had the nerve to tell me well you have to pay an extra 40 dollars because you have a four-wheel drive car y'all i was done so here i am walking around the car to make sure that everything was in good condition you no know, nothing was broken nothing was scraped i'm just glad this is over okay <laughs> let me sit down girl because it's a whole it's a whole thing so at my apartment, like they are very strict about where you park. I park in the correct spot all the time, but y'all on this particular day, the day, well, the day before my car was towed, my placard, like the parking permit, it broke. So I was like, you know what? It's not broken all the way. So let me just hook it on there. And then Saturday morning when the office is open, because by the time I get home from work, they're closed. So I was figuring today, Saturday, I was gonna go and get a new placard but y'all when i woke up in the morning i was just ready i literally walked out the house to go get in the car to go to work and my car was gone <laughs> it was gone and the first thing that came to my mind was like damn who stole my car <laughs> my car so i called the police and everything and you guys 
Come to find out, it was told by the apartment complex because I didn't have my parking permit showing. Now, as I just mentioned, I put my parking permit on the rearview mirror. So the only thing I can think of that would have occurred was when I went to close the door because the hook was broken. It may have fallen, but like, you guys, I ended up having to pay $290 just to get my car out of the impound. So hurt, yes, extremely hurt. And no, they did not give me my money back, even though my car is fully registered to the address. My car is also registered within the um, apartment complex database. They don't care about that. And I get it, I get it. You have to have your parking permit visible. That's the purpose, but it still, it hurt. It hit your girl. It hit your girl right here. <laughs> but yeah, that is what happened. I'm glad to have my car back. Thankful for my mom to have assisted me with getting my car back. So grateful because y'all cannot be in these streets without a car. Like it's, Uber was gonna, yeah. My arm hurts from holding this camera. So we're gonna get out of here and I will catch you guys probably at the store. Probably shopping. I'll catch you guys at the store. store was so packed i picked up Jaden a winter coat and some gloves from there but everything else that i had in my car i literally just left it there because it was just so much going on the store was extremely packed one and it was so cluttered i just cannot function well in a store that's just so cluttered and junky and then there's tons of people y'all i was getting hot i was like yeah it's time to go so i'm actually on my way to pick up uh my daughter she wants to go get this uh ear piercing so I'm gonna take her to get her ear piercing and then um, I'll probably go back out to the store because where she's trying to go, they close at seven and the stores I typically uh, go to, they don't close until like um, nine or 10. I cried a little bit, two tears. Oh, I two tears? Yes. <laughs> Hi, table for three, please. Nicole. Okay, thank you. Huh? Less than 10 minutes. We are actually right now in Red Lobster, so we're about to eat. And then I need to go home and put up the Christmas tree. Y'all want the Christmas tree? <laughs> you gonna help me? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Got the crew. Y'all, my ear hurt. I know y'all got to see me get a curious. It's like. Do it if you really want it, but if you don't want to do the pain, I'm gonna tell you don't do it. She, she cried this time. Stop, First time she, did <laughs> she did like 15 <laughs> tears. Stop, 15. I did too. No, you did 15 because you did some in the car. Yeah. Those count. <laughs> For $60. <laughs> You guys, today we are going to put up the Christmas tree. I'm actually on my way out. I'm about to go to Walmart so I can pick up some groceries and then some household stuff. I'm going to bring you guys along with me um, and then I'm going to come back, set up the Christmas tree, um, make some hot cocoa. Me and Jaden are going to put the Christmas tree together. I'm not sure if my oldest daughter will or not. I don't know if she has to work tonight or not. So we'll see if she's going to participate in all the fun festivities for Christmas. I have, I'll be honest, um, I have not been in the spirit at all, which is why I'm like, I need to go ahead, put up the Christmas tree, um, because it's like that instant boost. It gets you in the mood, it gets you in the holiday spirit. Um, but yeah, I am going to run over to um, Walmart real quick and, and grab everything I need. Um, I guess I should show you guys what I'm wearing today. 
Okay guys, excuse my room. I'm in the process of cleaning, washing linens and blankets and pillows, all kind of stuff. So we're running over to Walmart real quick. This is my OOTD for the day, you guys. I just have on this little two piece set that I picked up from, I wanna say I got this from Burlington several years ago, but it has the two stripes on the side. And then I have on some white slouch socks, my Panda Dunks. And then um, this scarf, I picked this up it's from Walmart. And then I'm wearing this pea coat, you guys. I really am due for a new winter coat. So this will just have to do for today. Yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Something super simple. I'm going to wear my crossbody bag. Oh, and then I'm going to wear my dossier. I'm going to wear my dossier Ambery Cherry, which is Lost Cherry. I absolutely love this fragrance. Okay, guys, so I pulled out all of the Christmas decorations and I actually didn't realize that I had a lot of stuff that I could have pulled out for fall. But y'all, I, I just didn't decorate for fall at all, but I should have because I had stuff already. I've set everything out. So now I'm just going to um, kind of look through, see what I'm going to keep, see if anything is broken that I need to just go ahead and throw away. Um, the Christmas tree is out on the patio just to make sure that nothing comes out. We're about to take it out of the box. You, if you know, you know. And then we have all of the Christmas bulbs right over here. Um, yeah, and look at my little floral flowers. I could have pulled this out. But yeah, these flowers are super cute. I could have um, decorated with that for fall. I don't know, I might still pull them out, you guys. These are beautiful. They're smushed, unfortunately, but we'll see. Maybe I can do something with them.
Okay, guys, so I was already in the process of cooking and I forgot that I needed to turn on the camera. So um, I have my peppers out. I'm about to start cutting those up. The um, Here are the ingredients that I'm going to put. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a sweet chili or not. I normally do like a sweet chili. Where's my northern beans? All right, so I normally do like one, two, three, four, and it's normally a five bean chili, so I must be missing a, a bean, but that's okay. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do all of the beans today because y'all, it's always a lot of beans. Tomorrow it is Christmas. 